his and parents never wavered once in their support, and they they always knew their son was coming home to them. And it sounds like you as friends didn't waver either. All Not right. a bit. All right, Stephanie and Sue, thanks so much for being with us. And with me now, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor John Bolton. Uh, okay, Bergdahl comes back, one for five. We give him five, uh, you know, Gitmo detainees, Taliban, high-end Taliban, as I understand it. Good deal? No, it's a bad deal. And I know people are happy that Bergdahl's being released. That's perfectly understandable. But the president has sent the Taliban an unmistakable signal that he will pay any price to get the United States out. And that's a signal that's bad for Taliban and al-Qaeda to hear and our adversaries around the world. And, and perhaps even worse, it is despicable for a president of the United States to grant moral equivalence to these terrorists in Gitmo compared to an American service member. The idea that there's any equivalence at all between a, an American soldier and a terrorist, I think is reprehensible. And yet that's what he's done by trading terrorists for, for a prisoner but of war. With all, Ambassador, it's even worse because the idea that these guys are going to Qatar and Qatar's going to make sure they never get out to attack us after they we know that they've attacked us or been involved in attacks on us. We know that we jail them and they're, I'm sure they're not happy about that. So, you you know, he's putting us in jeopardy, is he not? Well, he is. For example, the president tried to appeal to those who care about military POWs by saying we never leave a soldier on the battlefield. But what if the Taliban tomorrow kidnap a foreign service officer, kidnap an American civilian, a missionary, a business person in Afghanistan? Do we just forget about them because they're not members of the military? Of course not. But, but when you've put a price on an American like Sergeant Bergdahl, you've put price on all Americans, and That's the right. Taliban know that. And, and basically teeing it up for Americans to be abducted by these exactly. terrorists. Look, look, if the Taliban had said, give us $100 million and we'll give you back Bergdahl, would we have done that? Of course of not. Course. But they say, give us five terrorists, and we do. That is both uh, negotiating with terrorists and moral equivalence. They're both bad mistakes by the president.